how can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? How about your brother? He's still with them? Hey, hi, Zillybite here. Today I'll be showing you how to find the Fenrir Iconic Submachine Gun in Cyberpunk 2077. Just a quick reminder to subscribe to my Twitch channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the northwest side of Haywood, as shown here. A monk kidnapped by Maelstrom will give you a quest to go find another kidnapped monk. It's just a short jog from where you find the first monk. So run over there, and the only thing that the monk has asked you is that you deal with the Maelstrom gangers without any bloodshed. This should be a really easy mission to stealth. There's only four gangers you have to worry about. And they all have electronics nearby them that you can use to distract them, even if you don't have any upgrades to your cyber deck. My footage here is just a nice easy way to show you of all the four um, electronics you can hack to distract them, and it makes for a really, really easy mission. Of course you can just run in and shoot them all, although I'm not sure if that will despawn the iconic weapon. Even though it's not originally where he's standing, eventually this guy, once he's uh, distracted, does come over and just kind of kneel inside of this barrel of arms. Pretty convenient for our purposes here. And then the last guy is super easy. Oh, there's the gun. Um, last guy super easy. He's just looking at the monk, and you can just sneak up behind him in non-lethal takedown. Do not do this. And ta-da! Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So, so you'll have a quick chat with the monk. He'll thank you for no um, no blood being shed. And then the gun will be yours to pick up. As you can see here, it's got some really nice um, maelstrom decals. But the really nice thing about this gun is its iconic ability, which is it just lights things on fire. Now to see the gun here in action. Sorry, my footage is kind of buggy. But even with that, you can see that the gun does a ridiculous amount of fire damage. So going into a clip that's a little bit longer, I want to showcase that Fenrir as an SMG is obviously a little bit less effective at longer ranges. Also just want to want to point out how much I hate that uh, R for reload is also swap weapons with a random gun on the ground. If you're running Fenrir, I would definitely recommend having a gun that's a little bit more capable at longer ranges. And I would definitely recommend running Fenrir because you can see just how much damage dealing half the total health of that bot with the uh, damage over time there. And with such a high chance to apply the burning effect on enemies, it is a ridiculously strong gun. And here we're just going to take a quick little loot goblin detour. Gotta make sure you find all those hidden little goodies. <laughs> or extra crafting components, you know. Another thing to note is once this Netrunner goes down, you can see she has this iconic loot drop. And I'm not sure if you can repeat this, as if, and by that, if like every time you take out that specific Netrunner at this specific crime location, if she'll drop the um, iconic crafting spec, but that is the iconic crafting spec for Buzzsaw, which I haven't crafted yet. 
This crime location was right next to where I found Fenrir, so if you're in the area and want to go double check and see if it's the same spec there, it'd be awesome to let me and anyone else in the comments know. And you know, while you're down in the comments, uh, just, you know, say hi, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to pop over to my Twitch channel as well. Follow me there, check out a stream on Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday, it really helps me out and helps me make more content like this. But for today, bye for now, I will see you around.